Hello students, how are you? I am Ashraf Kelots, your physics teacher is with you. Today we will start with the first lesson of 10th standard physics in Kerala state syllabus. The name of the lesson is here, you can see effects of electric current, effects of electric current. And all of you see the picture here. See here, the father is also helping the mother. And this book was printed before lockdown. And now you can see this scene in almost all houses. Uh, fathers are available in the kitchen, isn't it? Because they don't have any other works to do. Now you can see in this kitchen, see in this picture, uh, there are many devices that works with electricity. See here there are two electric bulbs. They are used for converting electrical energy to light energy, for getting light inside the room. And there is a fan for getting wind. Okay that is converting electrical energy into mechanical energy and there are two heating devices here that is electric stove, the old form of electric stove which uses a nichrome wire heating effect and it converts electrical energy to heat energy. There is a new generation one, it is induction cooker. Uh, in induction cooker there is no heating element, there is no nichrome wire. It produces heat energy by using the eddy current, eddy current principle, Foucault current. We learned that in a higher class. Okay. And we have uh, other devices here, Mixi, a very useful device in the kitchen for your mother. It helps to make juice for grinding purpose, for blending, okay, for making pulps. There are many uses for the Mixi. And that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Electrical energy into mechanical energy. And there is an oven here, okay, electrical oven. Uh, actually, oven also is a heating device. First of all, electric oven converts electrical energy into electromagnetic energy, microwaves, which are having high frequency, high frequency microwaves, and that microwaves can be used for heating food. And finally, the energy conversion is, it is converting electrical energy into heat energy itself. And there is a storage battery here with an inverter. If there is a power cut to get the continuous supply of electricity, we use this device. And in this storage battery, electricity is stored in the form of chemical energy. Electricity is stored in the form of chemical energy and whenever there is power cut again chemical energy will be converted to electrical energy and DC from the battery is converted to AC alternating current by use of this inverter. So these are the different electrical devices that is used inside this kitchen. Now all of you take your notebook and write down in your notebook okay, what are the devices used in this kitchen. And here you can see it is written electric bulb is already written here electric fan is written, you can fill up the remaining. So what are the remaining items here? There is an electric stove is there, uh, then there is an induction cooker is there, induction cooker is there, then there is mixi, there is a mixi and also there is a storage battery is there okay. and also one more is there, an oven is there. So these are the different electrical devices used inside this kitchen. Now we will see what are the different uses of these devices and what are the energy changes, energy transformation taking place in these devices. Okay, so we'll go to the next page. Ready? Okay, this is the next page. And there is a table given here. All of you draw this table in your notebook. Draw this table and fill up these gaps. First of all, it is electric bulb here. Electric bulb, bulb is used for what purpose? Use of electric bulb. It is used for getting light energy. Okay, all of you write down. This is used for getting light energy, light inside the room. And what is the energy change, energy transformation in an electric bulb? When current passes through the electric bulb, the electrical energy is converted into light energy. So energy change is electrical energy into, you write complete, I will write in short, electrical energy into, electrical energy into light energy. Electrical energy is converted to light energy. Now see the next one is induction cooker, it is already written here to get heat and electrical energy is converted to heat energy in an induction cooker. Then storage battery, okay, while charging, while charging a storage battery, while charging what is the use of storage battery, it is used for storing electric energy, storing electric energy, it is used for storing electrical energy, you can complete it. What is the energy changes taking place while charging a battery? 
the electrical energy is converted inside the battery into chemical energy some reactions are going on inside the battery and currents passes through the positive and negative terminals that is anode and cathode through the anode and cathode when current is passing through the uh, cell in the electrolyte of the cell inside there are some changes happening and because of that chemical change electrical energy will be stored in the form of chemical energy so the energy change is electrical into chemical electrical to chemical chemical energy and what about mixing what is the use of mixing it is used for making juice okay for grinding purpose for making pulps and what is the change of energy it is electrical energy into mechanical energy mechanical rotation mechanical energy okay then we can add more other devices uh, there is uh, as tau is the tau is the electric tau what is the use of that for getting heat energy for cooking purpose and the energy changes electrical energy is converted into heat energy heat is produced and there is one more device that is electric oven and that oven also is used for getting heat energy that is for cooking purpose and that also convert electrical energy into heat energy okay and again you can add fan is the fan it is used for getting wind and uh, that converts uh, electrical energy into mechanical rotation rotational kinetic energy okay done uh, now we can see here in these devices there are different energy transformation energy changes are taking place it means electrical energy has different effects in a bulb uh, electrical energy is converted into light energy that is called light effect lighting effect is there in an iron box in a cooker okay, in an induction cooker or in a uh, stove electric stove the electrical energy is converted into heat energy so that is called heating effect okay, you might have studied if when electricity is passed through an electrolyte some chemical changes are happening so that is called chemical effect if you pass electricity through sodium chloride a solution sodium chloride we can get sodium and chlorine we can separate sodium and chlorine and we can get sodium atoms and chlorine gas that is chemical effect of electrical energy our first topic here is about heating effect of electric current so first we will learn in detail about heating effect of electric current all of you see around in your home uh, what are the devices that we use in our home for getting heat energy so what are the devices in your home which convert electrical energy into heat energy and you can write down here the different devices in your home which converts electrical energy into heat energy electric iron it is used for pressing our dress okay and now it is not useful because nobody is going outside okay then so we can save lot of energy and electrical iron then we can see uh, we may use toasters this toaster is used for what purpose toaster is used for making sandwiches okay and um, during winter season in bathroom we may use geyser a geyser for getting hot water for heating water for in bathroom we use geysers so these are the some of the devices which are converting uh, electrical energy into heat energy now we will learn in detail about uh, the heating effect before going to learn in detail about heating effect we will do an activity for doing that activity you need this much things you need a small piece of nichrome wire approximately 5 cm length and you can get that nichrome wire from an old iron box if you have an old iron box a damaged one inside that you can remove the plates and inside there will be a heating element a curved one if you open that inside you will get thin wires thin wire of nichrome that can be used for doing the experiment or from wire wall resistors in electronic device and all we can get small piece of nichrome wire so one small piece of nichrome wire is needed and a 6 volt or 9 volt battery is needed a small battery of 6 or 9 volt and some connecting wires these are the things required for doing the experiment i will go to the next page and we'll do the experiment okay we are here in the virtual lab 
in this classroom we have virtual lab also. Uh, so here you can see this is the Nichrome wire. It is connected with a 6 volt battery and a switch. When a switch is on, a current will flow through the circuit. When a current flows through the Nichrome wire, it becomes red hot. And that heat energy we use in an iron box for pressing the truss and in geyser for heating water, in a stove for cooking purpose. So the basic principle is same. Electrical energy is converted to heat energy. Now we can see that activity. See here, this is the Nichrome wire. Nichrome wire. Okay, it is connected with the two other wires and is given to a cell. A battery is here. And this is a 9 volt battery and it is connected with a small switch also. When the switch is on, when current flows through this Nichrome wire, you can see it is getting heated up. It becomes red hot. Okay, this is the heating effect. And this heat energy we can use for different purpose. We can use it for ironing dress inside an iron box. This heating element, Nichrome will be the Nichrome is an alloy of four metals, nickel, chromium, manganese and iron. It has high resistance. So what is resistance? And we need to apply a potential difference between the two wires so that a current will flow through this one. When a current flows through this one, it will produce heat energy. Before going to the details of this heating effect, we need to learn some terms, some basic terms in physics to explain this phenomenon. The main terms are here. One is potential difference. It is represented by the letter V. Then electric current. Current is represented by the letter I. Current is I. And resistance. Resistance of a wire. Nichrome is a wire with a high resistance. What is resistance that we have to learn? And resistance is represented by the letter capital R. And potential difference is measured in volt. Normally we call it voltage. And current is measured in ampere. And resistance is measured in ohm. Ohm, this is the symbol of ohm. These are the three important terms we need to learn before explaining heating effect. Okay? So the next lesson I will be explaining the basic quantities, the potential difference, current and resistance. And then we will see the Joule's heating effect, how this Nikro wire gets heated up when a current passes through it. Okay, we'll see you in the next class. Thank you.